It's a it's a nice and pleasant smell. It's Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. Today we have an Irish whiskey on the cask. St. Patrick's Day is not that long ago and this time this whiskey has something to, to do with St. Patrick as well. So today we're gonna find all about this whiskey. What is this whiskey? This whiskey is called Row and Co. So is there any history behind that? Yes, uh, the Row and Co. whiskey goes back to a uh, brand from George Rowe and Co. distillery back it was big in the 1900s and it was reintroduced by the Diageo brand uh, the Diageo company as a brand Rowe and Co. so this is their I think their reintroduction to the Irish market and this is a true Dublin whiskey um, the distillery was founded 1757, so the old George Rowan uh, and Co. distillery, and it was uh, just around the corner from the what you call it, the Guinness, the big brand that we know of Ir Ireland with their stout, with their famous stout, and um, from what what we can still find from the distillery is the St. Patrick's Tower. The St. Patrick's Tower was a windmill, uh, a special windmill, might have written this down. It's a smock windmill, some kind of turning windmill. It's, I, I'm not sure, I'm not an expert on windmills. It's a special windmill. If you want to know what a smock windmill is, please look it up. I don't know what a smock windmill is. And this was used to power the distillery. I don't think it was the only way they used to power the distillery because uh, according to some sources they had an output of two million gallons of whiskey back in the days per year and this would roughly turn out to be something like nine million liters this is not uh, u.s gallons this is uh, imperial british gallons so it's a bit different um so what do we have here? What what is this uh, whiskey? It's a blended Irish whiskey. Blended whiskey in Ireland means something different than to the Scottish blended. In this case, we know it is a blend of grain whiskey and malt whiskey. And also we know it was matured exclusively in bourbon barrels. So bourbon in there before. Now we have whiskey in there and the majority of the content is first fill bourbon. So first bourbon and then the first fill after that is this uh, this whiskey. So exclusively bourbon. We expect it to be a bit more sweet bourbon style whiskey. And this whiskey used to be so good back in the days, the, the Rowan Co. that the British Medical Journey um, had something written about it and um, they made a huge campaign with oh, whiskey is healthy, which you could not do today. And they described it as soft and mellow and great quality. Nice to know. Unfortunately, no age statement. Uh, back in the day, here they used to make seven year old whiskey as their main, or at least seven year olds. That's how they said it in this uh, marketing uh, flyer that I found from back in the days. Yeah, I think I've said enough. Um, Non-age statement, it's not chill filtered. And how many ABVs do we have? 45 ABVs. That's about 90 proof. Yeah, that is 90 proof, not about 90 proof, it's 90 proof. So we don't really need the chill filtering. Mm -hmm. I really like this. Uh, fat bottles with a big stump on them, a big cork on them and a bigger hole and you just you just feel the bottle is a bit more massive than all the other bottles. I really like that. Oh, when you when you have it in your nose, it's immediately a spicy tone. Some white pepper, light pepper, but also with a bit of a bell pepper powder 
and a bit of a, a, a rye bread flavor combined with a, a sweet oaky vanilla that you know from from more of the mature bourbon whiskies. Yeah, it it goes to a to an older bourbon with a bit of, bit of a little less sweetness, more of a vanilla oaky tone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a it's a nice and pleasant smell. It's I don't know how much of the malt content, how much of the grain content is. So I would have expected a bit bit more shallow on this one, but it's great. Mm. Mmm. 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 Oh, it's a, it's a wild mixture of beginning sweet, then with a with a lot of spiciness, oak tones, vanilla. Oh, here comes the sweetness again. Mmm, a really great mixture between spiciness and oakiness. Mm. Now in the aftertaste, you do realize that it's a bit grainy, but it mixes in well with this hefty spiciness and uh, the sweet undertones. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. Well, now the smell is much different. It's a bit fresher, a bit more freshness in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. It's a didn't expect this, but it's a a spicy woody tone. A slight chocolatey, but with a lot of bell peppers, normal pepper, red pepper, white pepper. And a little, a little sweet undertone that you, you feel around your mouth, a little bit creamy. Mm. And in the end, a bit of a, a bitter undertone, like a, a really dark chocolate. Mm. A little bit of a cacao taste in there. Mm. So, if you find this bottle, I think it would be, it would be worth a try. And if you happen to be in in Ireland, in Dublin, when you visit the, the Guinness factory and then have a look around, the St. Patrick's Tower is pretty near. It, it should be a great view. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and see you next time.